Hi, today we're at home in the greenhouse and we're planting up some of these begonias. And this is a pink salmon and it's a trailing begonia and it would look lovely in a hanging basket. So I'm going to hang these up in a hanging basket. But as we were just moving our pots, we've broken one of the stems. I thought it was going to be a good opportunity to see if we can propagate the begonias and see which ways is best propagating petunias. So the first way I'm going to use this cutting and I've got a cup with some water and we're going to use a cutting with water. So first of all I'm going to cut away this lower section just under the node and we're going to cut away this section. I'm also going to remove the plant stems. We don't want it producing flowers. And I'm just going to remove a couple of these blooms. I'm going to leave one of the leaves on. This one's a big cluster, so I'm just going to remove that section of leaves, just like that. So we've got one leaf and one bit of stem. And we've cut just under the node. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to fill up our cup. We're going to place our cutting in the cup and then wait for some roots. So the other method we can try is using multi-purpose compost. So I've took another cutting and I'm removing the leaves, removing the flower bed flower heads. So we've got one, two, three nodes that can potentially send out some roots. And this time we're going to use some rooting powder. I'm just going to dab it into the water just so the powder will stick to the stem. We've got a cup, multi-purpose compost. We're going to dip a hole, not just pushing it straight in, otherwise the compound will come off. And then I'm just going to push the stem into the compost, just like so. We give the compost a bit of a water. And then we've got a plastic bag. We're just going to cover over the pot. Over the top. This is going to cause a little mini propagator. And keep the heat in and that's going to sit into the greenhouse. So the next way of taking cuttings is from a leaf. So I'm going to select a leaf and I'm going to choose this leaf here and I'm just nipping it off right at the bottom and we're looking underneath and we can see the veins for the leaf. And what I'm going to do is just snap each one of these veins. Just pinching them together, snap. 
It's fine. And then hopefully we should get some little flowers. from the leaf. A second way is taking another leaf. We look at the veins and this way we're going to cut with our scissors we're going to cut the veins So we left a leaf with all the veins going into the centre. And that's two leaf cuttings. Then we're going to take a container. This is an old food container. We're going to add some perlite to the bottom to allow some drainage. Then we're going to add some compost on top. We're going to lay it flat, press it down. And then the next job to do Just cut off the bottom and we're just going to lay these leaves on top of the compost making sure all the veins touch the compost. Pushing it in and the second one we're going to do beside. Just pushing the veins into the compost just like so just going to give the compost a drop of water and then we've got a lid and we're just going to place the lid on top to form a mini propagator. And this is going to go and sit into the greenhouse and hopefully within a few weeks we should get some begonia cuttings. So let me know in the comments, have you propagated begonias? And which way have you propagated them? Have you used the water method? Have you used the leaf method? Let me know, leave me a comment. And also give me a like. And I'm going to get on and plant the rest of these begonias in my hanging basket. Make a wonderful trailing display. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Ring that bell, get notifications when I post some more. So thank you very much. Cheers for now.